all right guys what's going on it is what's today wednesday morning i believe it is and uh just getting some billing done uh shooting out some invoices for uh for the sprinkler blowouts that we've done uh the last uh week or so and i just got off the phone with brian's law maintenance uh talked with him for a little bit he's got the uh entrepreneur academy coming up this weekend and i was supposed to be there and i was supposed to uh, speak at this event uh but unfortunately i'm not gonna be able to make it so uh some things came up and uh, i'm just not gonna be able to make it so I, I just wanted to i wanted to tell brian and uh and the guys that are going to be there that i uh, wish i could be there with you guys unfortunately i can't uh, but no doubt it's going to be uh, be an awesome event um, i'm pretty sure uh, anybody that's going is going to get their money's worth and then some it's filled with kind of an all-star lineup, if you will. Um, you know, if I was going, uh, one, one of the people that I really, really wanted to hear speak was uh, was Josh Latimer. I, I believe that's his name. Uh, really, really cool guy. Uh, really has a lot of knowledge in the business as far as um, kind of the behind-the-scenes stuff. And um, and he's he's one of the people that I've never met. And I really wanted to meet him and, and kind of hear what he, he had to talk about. But unfortunately, uh, I'm not going to be able to go. So uh, Brian did tell me they have, you know, a few tickets left. So if anybody's interested, go check that out. Um, I do think it's well worth the money, uh, especially, you know, for guys that are just wanting to get a little bit of extra, extra advice, extra info to help them out with their business. Um, definitely can't hurt to go to this thing. So anyway... Um, today what we got on the schedules we got some uh we got some more mowing to do got a couple more sprinkler blowouts to do and then um that's pretty much it we do have to go we did a landscape job yesterday um it's pretty much done apparently we stole the lady's hoe so i want to make sure we give that back um apparently she had a hoe sitting out in her backyard and we accidentally took it so uh make sure we give that back to her um, I'd like to say that's the first time that's happened, but it's not. Um, you know, when customers have tools sitting out in their backyard, shovels or whatnot, um, it's just not uncommon to pick up whatever. So um, maybe, you know, we, we need to get better at that because I don't, I don't like, uh, you know, taking other people's stuff for sure. So but anyway, we're going to get going here in a minute and uh, we'll see what we can get done today.
so we got some mowing done this morning. Took a quick little lunch, ate some Subway. Now we're headed to go blow out a couple couple uh, sprinkler systems, and then we'll probably end up uh, just mowing a few yards until it gets dark, which is really early now, like five o'clock, five thirty. Uh, I'm definitely not used to that. Now we got done with that job yesterday. We were driving home and it was almost pitch black. It gets dark really, really quick. So anyway, that's what we got going on. So uh, I want to get these sprinklers done real quick. That way we can uh, hop on a few more yards. Tomorrow we got some more mowing to do. And I'm hoping we can finish everything up tomorrow. And for most of the properties, it's going to be the last mow. Uh, you know, stuff just ain't growing, growing that much right now. So, and we're shutting everybody's water off, so nobody's watering, so. All right, so we ran into a little predicament. One, I gotta go blow out, sprinkler-wise. We're dropping the trailer. So one of the sprinklers I gotta blow out, um, it's, it's a long wind, winding road down to the property, and it's only like a single lane uh, entrance and I pulled down in there and I was like man there's no way I'm gonna be able to get this trailer back out um, so I'm here just kind of across the street at a sod shop and uh, I asked them if I could drop my trailer for a little bit while I go take care of that and uh, we'll be back so that's what we're doing you recording So we got that one done. Let's go get our trailer back and go do the next one. So, all right, guys, we are done for the day. It's right around 3.30. Uh, this is the time that I, I just, I like to get home around this time. I, I like having more of my evenings back uh, for sure. Uh, we got most everything done today. There was one more yard that I wanted to get done today, but not a big deal. We can take care of it tomorrow. We did get all the sprink sprinklers blown out and all that type of stuff. Uh, but one of the last things I had to do today was ship out a package to a, uh, to a young man named Connor. So Connor is in South Carolina. I met him at the GIE and he made such an impression on me that I, I wanted to just send him kind of a goodie bag. Um, he said he likes watching the videos and things like that. So Connor, if you're watching, man, um, it was it was a pleasure meeting you at the GIE. Um, really, I mean, you you honestly kind of, you, you kind of made my GIE to be honest with you because um, I, I love meeting meeting young kids. I love meeting people like you, and uh, you just have kind of a an aura about you. You you're always smiling, and you always uh, you were just always kind of upbeat, and that I really really appreciate. So Connor, if you're watching, man, thank you, thank you for uh, for being you at the GIE, and I hope you like uh, like the package that I sent you. So anyway, guys, we're gonna end the video right here. We'll see you guys tomorrow.